Hi, I'm your host, Caleb Lawrence, and this is the Market Bull, March 24th, 2020. A massive short covering rally sends the Dow Jones Industrial Average to its best day since 1933 during the depths of the Depression. The major averages soar. Fourth quarter personal income advanced 3% at the state level, led by strong gains in the Southwest and Great Lakes regions. At the other end of the spectrum, income gains were weak in the Rocky Mountain and Midwest regions. By income type and earned led the advance with a 3.6% annualized increase. And while this series finished 2019 on a strong note, COVID-19 will ensure this doesn't continue into 2020. New home sales beat expectations in February despite falling 4.4% to 765,000 units annualized. While the Northeast and South both posted gains, the West and Midwest both fell. Month supply increased to 5, a little high. The median price gained 4.9% to $346,800. January was revised significantly higher to 800,000 units annualized. Despite sharply lower interest rates, the widespread shelter-in-place orders and a rapidly tightening mortgage market should put a serious crimp in sales going forward, and I would expect a parade of very negative news for at least the next six months. The Richmond Fed Regional Survey gained four points in March to two, bucking the coronavirus trend on strength in shipments and new orders. Employment was negative. The survey window for this report closed March 18th, so I would expect a significantly lower reading next month. The Standard & Poor's 500 Index closed today at 2,447.33, up 209.93, while the Nasdaq finished the day at 7,417.86, up 557.18. Gold ended trading at $1,660.10 an ounce, up $92.50. This is Caleb Lawrence, Registered Investment Advisor. I can be reached directly, 831-334-5318, or stop by my office, 5321 Scotts Valley Drive and Willis Road in the Scotts Valley Plaza, Suite 202, Scotts Valley, California, 95066. Additional writings and other entries are also available on my blog at www.clinvestments.com. Advisory services are offered through Caleb Lawrence, Registered Investment Advisor, Inc., and with that, you're up to date.